Hey guys, my name is Matthew, and this is my review of Bamboozled by Jesus by Yvonne Orji. Here we go. Bamboozled by Jesus is a memoir slash Christian help book. It's goofy and fun, and it uses language you don't normally expect. It's very informal for this kind of a book. I have a lot of fun with the book. In this review, I'll be listing some of my observations of the book, starting with one of some of my favorite things, and then going down through the list to some things that I didn't like as much about the book. At the end, I'll give my recommendation for this book, who should purchase it. Bamboozled by Jesus is easily the most entertaining Christian book I've read in a long time. It was really funny, and I found myself regularly actually reading sections of it out loud to my wife. I even sent a picture of a certain page to a friend because I just thought it was so entertaining, it was so funny. Um, I really enjoyed it. So for entertainment value, a really, really incredible book for that. It's really well written. And I actually liked most of the ways that she described Bible stories a lot as well. It was really humorous. and relatively on purpose. They all had a point, but it was also helpful to make the real stories that we sometimes think of as off limits from the Bible um, really relatable and, and it makes them feel like real people. I think this is really helpful for making biblical characters seem like they're real and that they're like we were and then we can actually pull information from those stories and from those characters a little bit better. So I really appreciate the ways that she described biblical stories. Uh, it was a little bit different than most people do, but it was really well done. Something else I really liked was the style throughout. It felt very authentic. It wasn't like uh, Yvonne was trying to be something that she isn't, and I really loved that. It can be easy to write different than you speak, and I got the feel that that really wasn't her. Another really strong positive thing was that in reading the book, it encouraged me to want to get to know Yvonne more. I was pretty unfamiliar with her. I'd never seen any of her HBO stuff. I went to find clips of her comedy special, and an interview, things like that, because I really like her. Her character comes out and she's someone who I would want to get to know better because she was just such an interesting and likable person. Just based on her writing, I could, I could tell that. So I really appreciated that. A couple things I didn't like as much in this book. The first one was that the language usage was occasionally inaccurate in order to fit the style of the book. And this is a super minor thing. I'm really not wanting to, to, to harp on this too much. I just want to give you a for instance so you know what it is and how minor it is. Um, so for an example, one of the primary descriptors given to Saul, who's a character from the Bible who later turns into Paul, he changes his name to Paul. Um, the, the primary descriptor that she used for this, this character Saul was a tyrant. Um, and so if you didn't know who Saul was, like for instance, if you're not as familiar with those Bible stories, you would think that maybe he was a king or some sort of ruler that had his head full of like himself and was really selfish. And the word tyrant just doesn't, it doesn't quite fit, or at least at the very least it's misleading for who the character of Saul is. So if you know who he is, you get what she's saying. If you have no idea who he is, it's, it's not really a fair descriptor of who he is. It's just a little bit misleading. So again, that's pretty minor, and that's just a one for instance. I think there were a lot of places where she used a word like this, where it's like, ah, that's good, but it's not quite the meaning of the word, and so it doesn't quite fit right, if that makes sense. It's a minor issue, um, because I think it, that that's not necessarily you know important for understanding the gist of the book. Here's the bigger problem with the book, and it's a problem that plagues so many Christian self-help books. It's this idea that was just rampant in the book uh, that Jesus wants you to have an awesome, blessed, super cool life. If not right now, then at least he wants you to be working towards that. Um, and it's in this book literally from start to finish. It's all about your success and material possessions and this idea that's kind of a Joel Osteen thing, living your best life now. The whole book is really, really entertaining and really helpful for getting those things, actually. I think the steps are helpful, but it's a little misleading for what the Bible teaches or for what Jesus is actually trying to get you to do based on my reading of the Bible, based on my understanding of, of that text and what it is that Jesus is about. And even looking at the examples of so many Old and New Testament examples. Paul, for instance, the man I just mentioned, uh, lived a very sad and kind of depressing life if it were not for Jesus. He never got his dreams or you know, the 34 bullet listed type of house that he wanted the way that she listed in one of the chapters that, you know, needs X number of square feet, needs to have this many tubs and this many, and it's like, ah, that's not really what Jesus wants for us. At least I don't think so. So I just felt like that was a little misleading and I think it's a big problem with so many Christian help self-help books as they're just normal self-help books with kind of Jesus sprinkled in. 
Before I give you my recommendation, I just want to point to the description box below where there is a link for this book that you can purchase the book. It gives us a little bit of kickback. It's really, really helpful for our channel. So if you are thinking about purchasing the book, I'd really appreciate it if you use that link. For my recommendation, I want to start by saying the book is really entertaining. If you're looking for some entertainment value, if you know who Yvonne is and you followed her on HBO and you really like her stuff, this book is really entertaining. I think you're really going to enjoy it. The other person that I think this book could be really good for is someone who has like really big dreams, maybe some big goals, they feel insurmountable, and you're looking for some encouragement. Um, I actually think this has great helpful advice for entrepreneurs or authors or whoever it is that's got that's kind of working towards something big and it feels like it's this big obstacle you can't get over. I think that actually this book could be perfect for you. I think it could be a really good fit for you in that. I don't necessarily recommend it for a strong biblical content. I don't think it does a good job of hermeneuticizing the Bible, for instance, but it's actually really encouraging and it's really entertaining. So if you're looking for that, this is the perfect book for that. This has been my review of Bamboozled by Jesus. If you've enjoyed this review, feel free to like, subscribe, and use the affiliate link in the description box below to purchase the book. Thanks guys so much for watching and as always, stay safe out there.